to perform our national anthem. Please welcome 96-year-old World War II veteran, Pete Dupre. Fans, let's hear it for Pete Dupre. Oh, beautiful, far heroes proved. In... Hey everyone, Jeff Taylor here, one of the co-hosts of the Panthers Brawl in this week's edition of Money in the Bank. Now, of course, Panthers Brawl is a part of the Brawl Network, which now has over 30 podcasts, so make sure you check them out. Now, our Money in the Bank every Monday normally focuses on the Carolina Panthers and football, but today is special. You see, today is Memorial Day. It is a day which we go back and honor and pay our respects to those military men and women who fought for our country and ultimately paid the price. And we're so grateful for all that they did for our country, providing us with the freedoms to get to do things exactly like this. Now, in my years of being a broadcaster, I've seen some pretty cool things when we talk about sports and military. And if you think about it, sports and military have always had a special bond. Think about when you're watching the Super Bowl and a national anthem is being played and they cut to that troop that's serving in Afghanistan or Iraq and what sports means to those people, it's amazing. So uh, it's just such a cool relationship to see. Now, also in my time, I've gotten to see Many cool things when it comes to military and sports. Flyovers before games or flyover before races. I was at Indianapolis Motor Speedway and a B-52 bomber flew over, the stealth one, and it was amazing. So I've seen some pretty cool things, some pretty patriotic things, but probably the one that hit hardest to me and kind of teared me up was back on November 13th, 2011 when Jack and I had pregame passes for the Carolina Panthers versus the Tennessee Titans, and this took place. Greetings from dusty, blustery Iraq. I'm U.S. Army Captain Joe Jorgensen, currently serving with the Office of the Staff Judge Advocate, United States Forces Iraq, and permanently assigned to the mighty 18th Airborne Corps of Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Sky Dragons, airborne, all the way. In celebration of Veterans Day, I thank all veterans, past and present, for their selfless service and sacrifice to our nation and to our armed forces. I also thank each and every one of you for your generous and unwavering support of our armed forces serving at home and abroad. Finally, I thank those who often do not receive the recognition they deserve for their service and sacrifice to our nation and armed forces, the families of veterans. Thank you for your love and support. 
Specifically, I want to thank and express my gratitude to my family, to my beautiful wife, Andrea, and to our wonderful children, Luke, Jocelyn, Kate, Todd, and Isabel. Did I forget any of you? I think I got you all. Thank you for your constant love and support. I love you very much and can't wait to be back together at home with you again. I hope you enjoy the game. I wish I could be there today at the game with you. And now to continue the Jorgensen's ultimate fan experience, we have one more thing to share with Andrea and the kids. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome to the field Captain Joe Jorgensen. Welcome back, Captain Jorgensen. Andrea, we hope you and the kids enjoy catching up with Joe as all of you enjoy watching today's game from one of our luxury suites. Congratulations and thank you for your dedicated service to our country. Now, seeing that moment when Captain Joe Jorgensen got to come home and be with his family was, like I said, very emotional. I know I choked up big time. And what we need to remember today is he got to come home and be with his family. There are many military women and men who haven't had that chance and who have died in battle. And like I said, we are so thankful for them. And I don't know about for you guys, but for me, when the national anthem is played, and I don't care what game it's before, whether it's a Pop Warner game or an NFL game or the World Series, the national anthem always makes me proud of what those guys did for us, what those men and women in the military have done for us. And the one that will always, always kind of hit home with me the hardest was Super Bowl 25, Whitney Houston, 1991, the Super Bowl in Tampa Bay. And this is how that game started with the national anthem. God bless to all our troops. We love you and we thank you for all you do.